There's a saying, a properly operating tower clock shows the well-being of the community. If it's indicating the wrong time, any visitor, they'd look at that and they'd kind of scratch their head and, eh, what's going on with this town? ground level, there's about 369 steps. I put my request in for an elevator to be replaced. I'm still waiting for a reply. When I first come up into the clock room, I'm, I'm using all my senses. This mechanism has a, a heartbeat, and if there's anything different or an off beat or no tick, something, I'll pick up on that. And of course, when the bells strike, the quarter chime and the hour strike, I'm also listening for that. You have to be a contortionist and you have to be ambidextrous. You have to be able to operate tools with both hands. No, there's a big difference in the sound. <laughs> you notice that difference? Smooth. In the fall, time goes back an hour. So what I do when I come up here, I stop the clock for at least an hour. That pendulum's very heavy. I'll put my foot up against it down low. It's kind of like stopping a train. I just have to keep pushing and it'll It'll take maybe, I don't know, 10 seconds to stop it. And that's an ideal opportunity for me to do some maintenance that I don't normally get a chance to do when the clock is in operation. It's a work of art. And to imagine that they were able to put this together has me baffled even with today's technology. I've, I've always enjoyed, ever since I took over this contract, I've enjoyed every minute in this tower. It's Newton's law, it's energy. And it's, yes, some of it's going to move the hands, but I think there's a little bit of excess energy and I, can, I feel like I'm absorbing that. I, I come out of a tower and I feel a little bit invigorated and a little lighter in my step. I'm not tired or sluggish. <laughs> Clocks are just never cease to amaze me how it how they just keep going and going.